This is Dapple, my Cunningham skink. Now he ate all of these black soldier fly larvae. He did not leave one for his roommate. Unbelievable. You can imagine I have a lot of mouths to feed. From my tree frogs, to my newts, to my native geckos, to my Cunningham skinks, to my leopard geckos, and God knows what down the track. But I wouldn't change it for the world. So I was super excited to come home to a package, and I'm a weirdo. I got excited about bugs, not a watch, not any goodies. It was live insects for all my animals. Let's check them out. So I've never actually uh, ever used soldier fly larvae for any of my animals in the past, present. I didn't ever actually knew what they looked like until they researched them. So I thought I'd try them with all my reptiles, native geckos, my exotics, everything I have. I uh, might even try the tree frogs, we'll see. So good little experiment, trying uh, a new live diet, first time, new live feed. Now, obviously we all know the benefits of live feed. So this is the first ever New Zealand unboxing video for soldier fly larvae. Now, I didn't actually know what a soldier fly was until I Googled it and see them all the time. Uh, interestingly enough, huge in the US, especially for, they use this chicken feed. This is the cute little tub I got. So soldier grubs times 100. This is the little tub it comes in. So it's the same material, it's just bran flakes. So what you get with when you buy mealworms, the actual grub itself, here we go. Okay, really, really soft, like a wax worm almost. But the difference with these guys is that they are a lot more nutritious than wax worms. So being more nutritious than wax worms, uh, they, give, they have a lot of calcium, they have a lot of protein, whereas wax worms, if you think the equivalent in the human world or the human uh, nutritious world is, a wax worm is like ice cream to your animals, right? It's just a treat, it's just to fatten them up. If you have sick animals, they're generally good to give them to make sure that they eat because they'll most likely go for wax worms, even when they're sick maybe a little bit unhealthy you need to put on some weight for breeding but these guys apparently huge value in these guys huge value so lots of calcium lots of protein um, a lot of vitamins that the animals need so i'm looking forward to feeding these guys out to the cunningham skinks to the native geckos to the tree frogs and we'll see how that goes um stay tuned now for those of you who are scared of insects and you know you have reptiles but you hate insects you're scared of them these guys are harmless as you can see they're just little grubs they don't bite they just crawl around. They've been raised in a very hygienic environment. So insect direct, thank you. Maybe you can sponsor my next video, LOL. All right, the other thing I actually need to feed out today, also part of this video is um, giving my New Zealand native geckos, the rarest geckos in the world apparently, the holy grail of geckos. Uh, we only can get them in New Zealand, have seen them overseas in private hands, but obviously they're somehow illegally, most likely. But anyway, in New Zealand, you can keep them with a permit. They, from time to time, every two weeks, this is uh, expert feedback I've received from other keepers where you give them some fruit mash or some fruit paste. In the wild, they might have access to fruit. It's, uh, they probably have a lot of key vitamins that the geckos need, as well as nectar, dew. So every two weeks, give them a little pottle. It's, it's baby food. Now, when I first got them, I used to actually mash banana, fijoa, orange, uh, things like that, and they actually, they loved it, right? So, uh, I think um, that goes without saying they do like it, it is good for their diet, but you don't give it to them every day because then it becomes over enrichment because they don't eat it every day in the wild They don't, and they shouldn't have it every day. You want have your geckos to be healthy, main diet, insects, as well as a little treat every two weeks or a little fruit supplement. Oh man, can we get more of this? Now by now you know I have Cunningham skinks and these guys are super hard and rare to get in this country but I want to give you guys a closer look to Dimple and Dapple. Now they don't make great pets as you can see Dimple was not impressed. He was hating it but I had to do my visual health checks. Dapple was way more chill, way more calm and I think she is super super cool. Now I'm obsessed with these guys so today I did a usual, I did a terrarium clean out, did some husbandry checks, make sure they were clean, moved them some things around so that they have some enrichment, some stimulus, some new things to climb, some new things to do. But like I said, these guys don't make great pets. I don't recommend them for beginners. They are super quick, they're super fast, super skittish, but look at the miniature dragons. 
Like blue tongues, they have a similar diet. So you can give them scrambled egg, you can give them mescaline greens, you can give them a fruit, so banana, I give them a mashed pear. They love insects, so I've given them wax worms, meal worms, they got some soldier fly larvae today, and that's what I'm preparing them today. So have a look and stay tuned. Now this is Eki, I wasn't sure if she was gonna eat anything, she's one of my leopard geckos and she's super cool. Look at that coloration, she's about to go through a shed, as you can notice a white cloud over her skin, but obviously she could not say no to a black soldier larvae grub. Now, this is the first time I've tried these black soldier larvae grubs and everyone seems to like them. I still have to try them with the native geckos. Usually with the native geckos, I catch them wild caught bugs, so flies, moths, I'll put up a fly trap or I'll catch them with a net depending how I feel. All I do is I create a little Tupperware tub like this, I cut a hole in the top with a knife, put some tape on and then I just chuck them in there and when I'm ready to go I just release them into the enclosures. Now I'm going to leave you with Greg. Greg is one of my forest geckos. I have a huge soft spot for this guy, he's super gorgeous. This is him enjoying some fruit puree that I created earlier. Now guys I hope you enjoyed this one, stay tuned for the next one.